Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mark and Time. Last week, I posted a video um, called Time of Death, about a, uh, what time a watch died, and uh, a bit of a forensic investigation as to how this watch died. And at the end of the video, I asked if anyone uh, wanted to see something or leave some suggestions. And one of my watch group, um, I have a Facebook watch group on vintage watches, and they asked me if I could do a video on how I clean watch parts. Um, I thought that would make actually quite an interesting video, so here we go. Um, so my first step in cleaning watch parts, and we have one right here, is a tray. Now I've done the, dis uh, the disassemble already. Um, this watch is slated to be cleaned. And sitting beside it, as you can guess, is a coffee filter. That's right. This is a two to four cup coffee filter, and I absolutely love it. The mesh on the filter is so small that um, the smallest screw will not go through it. So the first part uh, that I do is I take the parts and I move it over to the uh, to the filter um, or the cleaning basket, as this is what would would be used for. And I start with the uh, largest pieces, um, as to not damage any of the smaller pieces by putting the larger pieces in. And so here we go. So on the bridges go in, and uh, it's a pallet fork bridge. And then I just start working my way down to um, uh, down to other pieces. Now I am free handing this with the video, so I'm just holding this video player in my hand here. So uh, excuse the uh, the moving around. Um, I don't. Uh, Get the screws in here. What's really nice about this basket as well, and it was a complete afterthought after I uh, purchased it for this um, for this uh, purpose, was that the basket you can see is um, a gold color. And what I really like about it is that small springs, and I'll give you an example, um, a, small, a small spring like this, you really see clearly on the uh, in the gold basket. Um, now the larger parts that are brass colored, um, because they're larger, obviously you'll just kind of pick up on that right away. Um, you'd see them right away. Get off there. So all the little pieces go in here. Now it it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, in what order I, I put the parts in as the smaller pieces. So I always like to get the large pieces in first, as I mentioned, um, only because I don't want the smaller pieces damaged. Uh, once, um, once this basket is introduced into the cleaning fluid, um, the parts kind of float for a couple of minutes anyways in the cleaning fluid before it uh, settles. Um, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, there's really no rhyme or reason as to how everything goes in. But um, as long as they're put in um, carefully, that's all I'm really kind of concerned about. And uh, almost done here. This little guy in here. Uh, kind of different doing this with uh, one-handed. But um, almost done. Now the, I'm going to show you in a minute, the uh, the balance complete, as you can see, is not part of the parts because I washed that separately. And um, I've already cleaned the uh, mainspring and the mainspring barrel and did the assembly. Because um, I do that, um, I do that separately. Um, right there's the, um, the balance complete and the barrel is under that dust cover there. Um, I've already cleaned and done the um, reset the uh, mainspring, but uh, this will still give you a good idea. So I take the basket and then I go over to the ultrasonic cleaner. And these baskets, again, as you can see, you can see with the size of my hand how small these baskets are. Um, you can purchase these at uh, Canadian Tire. They're for the uh, two or four cut uh, coffee makers and um, they're about 10 bucks Canadian and then I set it for um, uh, not 30 minutes five minutes well, that's 
car. Now the next thing I do, take that out of the way, bring over my uh, little yellow pad here, and I have here, yeah, this is lighter fluid. Um, there are cleaners that are especially designed for um, um, for the uh, for hair springs. I find lighter fluid. Um, if you care about the brain, it's rosinol. <laughs> um, I find rosinol lighter fluid does a really good job on hair springs. I find that there's uh, after I clean them, I don't find any dust or any more debris on them. Um, just give me one second here. I'll need two hands open this container, as you can well imagine. I have this uh, lid on quite tight. Okay, and with the magic of video, the lid is automatically off. So now I'm just going to remove my uh, dust cover for the balance. And if you have an observant eye, you'll notice that my dust cover is literally an uh, old watch crystal that I use. So you can see that's just in the lighter fluid there. And then I use one of these um, air blowers. Now this blows dust out of the movement or dust off of anything really, that's all that does. And what I do is I put it into the lighter fluid and I blow bubbles kind of around, not too hard, but just kind of blow bubbles just to agitate the lighter fluid around the balance complete here just to kind of move the dirt off of everything. What I want to do is actually get a, um, a hose or something so I don't have the whole thing sitting in here. Um, the whole blower right inside the lighter fluid. I wouldn't mind getting in um, like a hose or something, but so that should do it. Dap that off. I'm going to do a couple of, you can hear me blowing the air out of it down here. Lighter fluid dries really fast. It's one of the good parts of lighter fluid. And then I take the, um, carefully remove the um, balance complete right out of the lighter fluid onto my pad of paper. And um, now I use a pad of paper because I find it has enough absorbency as to not make a mess, but it, um, it, uh, it, it doesn't leave very many fibers behind. Now what I'm going to do is gently blow air on this. I don't want to blow too hard. Um, you can lit it quite literally with, blow the uh, whole part right across the paper. works pretty good and as you can tell by already like just the way the light is reflecting off the uh, the balance wheel like you can tell um, even actually at this angle right off the spring I mean it, it does an amazing job um, the lighter fluid again it's a flammable very very highly flammable so you have to be careful and make sure it's in a proper container with a secured lid um, my watch shop is kind of locked away in the house here, so I don't have too many people venturing into this part of the, uh, into my shop, so, you know, I keep it kind of safe. Um, and again, there are other products. You can go to your local um, watch repair supplier and see what other products there are for washing uh, hairsprings, but like I said, I find I get really good results with the, uh, with the lighter fluid. Um, okay, so now that this is uh, dry, I'm going to put that back in its dedicated little tray that I like to use. And uh, put my, uh, oops, sorry, put my makeshift um, crystal on it. This is a domed, uh, a domed crystal from a uh, from a uh, vintage watch that uh, is so badly scratched up and with a crack in it. But um, it works perfectly for uh, covering, uh, covering, uh, balances and the and my little balance holder believe it or not is a lid from a <laughs> from an, uh, Mediterranean salt uh, container um, it's one of those self uh, where the salt comes in its own um, grinder and uh, that was the lid off of it and as soon as I saw the lid to it I thought man I know what I can use that for because I always have the issue of where to put these balance completes with uh, where they can remain safe and um, so uh, 
with the combination of the two that just works um perfect and uh i don't think anyone ever has an idea where i got this thing from but as you can tell the cleaner is done so now what i do is uh this is the rinsing agent and uh nice thing about these um little coffee baskets it does come with a handle i'm telling you you'll love this um so I kind of let some of the uh, washing agent drip off here and I transfer it over to the rinsing agent. Now the rinsing agent is also by, uh, also by Zenith and it's called Dries Bright. Uh okay everyone, so this part of the video I had to um, do a voiceover on uh, the ultrasonic cleaners as you can tell is really messing up the uh, recording quality of my um, of my video camera. Um, so as I was saying just before, uh, Dries Bright is also made by uh, Zenith and it works with the cleaning agent, the Radiant uh, 777. Um, they're formulated to work together. Uh, they do a really good job, uh, these two formulas. Um, they're around the same price point as um, the, I believe it's called L&R or H&R or H&L or something like that, but they're all around the same kind of cleaners. Um, I've got these, um, I get the cleaners from a company located in Toronto called uh, Sommel, uh, S-O-M-A-L, and um, they're the kind of the uh, watchmakers part supply um, uh, place uh, that delivers mostly to Canada. Um, really good shop. Um, anyways, so as you can see, okay, so it's now um, done in the rinsing agent and I'm going to, uh, let the, um, again, as, as with the washing agent, I just kind of let the uh, drip dry off the basket there and I'm transferring it now to the, uh, dryer. Um, you can tell it's a bit of a home jobby of a dryer. I made this myself, this, uh, parts dryer, um, out of some plumbing parts and a, um, hair dryer. Uh, probably next week I'll do a video on how to build one of these because you can do it for the fraction of the price of an, um, as a store-bought unit. I run the hair dryer for about, uh, seven to 10 minutes. Um, it's on low, uh, so it's just a low warm air that's just, uh, blows right through. Um, as you can tell, there's a grill on the top of the hair dryer. You have to let the air escape because you don't want to get it, uh, overheated. Now, a lot of times on vintage parts, um, for example, the uh, pallet fork, um, it just has pins instead of um, shellac holding jewels, um, but you would have to be careful if you're using a jeweled pallet fork uh, to keep the temperature down uh, because it could melt the shellac. Um, like I said, I this is a really cheap hair dryer, um, and I wanted a cheap one. I didn't want anything high-powered. So these are the, um, uh, the parts... Uh, dry right there and um, as you can tell with the uh, light shining off of them it, it, it does do a really good job these two agents um, because you see the way these uh, um, the bridges are just glowing and from this point on I'd be just transferring um, everything uh, back into that tray usually um, I try doing it in a way that the um, uh, that it just makes the assembly easy by trying to keep the parts within their um, uh, respected areas in the watch uh, so it's a no brainer putting it together. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, if you like my, uh, video and, um, if you want to see something different again, leave a, leave a comment in the, uh, in, in below and, um, I'll try to come up with, um, different ideas. Uh, so if you like, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and, uh, thank you very much for watching.